Welcome back students, this is your Chendu Gaut. In today's video, I am going to cover certain important concepts related to the course discrete mathematics under J and U H R 16 as well as R 18 regulation. I have come up with few important topics, please do work out as the course is uh, too lengthy in its structure as well as many students feel the course is too difficult. I have come up with certain important points, please do cover all these topics and also watch my video on how to take mathematics exam which is being uploaded in this channel to score a better mark. Dear students, the course is too lengthy in structure, you are supposed to work out. I have come up with the 8th question first. The first and foremost gunshot question is related to the graph theory, state and proof fundamental theorem of graph theory as well as the problems related to it. Later, the Eulerian as well as Hamil Hamilton graph as well as shortest pro problems were covered many times in the previous year question paper. Do not expect directly 15 mark question, you can expect 10, 5 as well as 7, 8 combination later Kruskal's algorithm connected weight graph for a minimum spanning tree problem as a graph is very very important question and graph isomorphism problems related to it if you cover these points I mean these topics for sure you are going to get 150 mark question I have taken into consideration why because this is one of the shortest one the eighth question as per the COVID pattern eight questions will be asked of which you are supposed to answer any five later I have taken into consideration unit three set at gunshot questions like principle of strong induction along with the example will be also asked several times later this is the gunshot question do not forget to work out from the part of third unit I mean the induction principles prove that n cube plus 2 n is divisible by 3 or 6 n plus 2 6 power n plus 2 plus 7 power 2 n plus 1 is divisible by 43. A concept related to this type of problem is a gunshot and very very important question dear students make sure to work out this problem later recursive algorithm and its relations and the definition may be also asked sometime. If you work out these concepts you are going to get for sure a question related to this later the the first unit is also very very important it is all about the gunshot question logical equivalence related to truth and without truth table is a very more very very important and gunshot question please do work out all the relations and problems related to it later tautology as well as for a given statement check whether for the given statement this is also very very important question quantifiers and predicates as well as the trans the, given the statement translate the given statement into the logical expression related to quantifiers as well as predicates using logical connectivities later propositional functions as using disjunctions conjunctions and negotiations for a given statement is also very very important from this part you will be getting one question for sure and from remaining part you are going to get the other question that is the second question later give a direct and indirect proof for a given statement give uh, for a given statement you need to work out proof uh, uh, problems are very very important and that will be coming for sure as per the analysis done by me taking into consideration the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of JNTU H uh, syllabus copy I have come up with these questions this is a gunshot question dear students and related to this is also one of the gunshot question later the unit to unit to work on the relations relations where certain uh, statement given to check whether for the symmetric as well as reflexive reflexive and the theorems and algorithms will be asked and coming to relations you will be getting one question for sure as well as from sets you are going to get one more question for sure. If you cover these concepts you are going to get for sure 5 to 6 questions uh, and the one more important question I would like to highlight is a prove that if f of n is the nth Fibonacci number and the statement will be given you need to work out and prove for an integer. The Fibonacci number is also asked several number of times. These are the various questions which I have taken into consideration to make you all work out easily to do subscribe to my channel as well as do not forget to share this course important concepts to your friends who are taking this. Hope you will perform well and work out well in the exam and pass in the first attempt. Good luck. God bless you all. Thank you.